Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. Anyways, I want to talk about something that just irks me so very much. Censorship. Oh my god. Censor freaking shit. Yep. I understand. You know, probably for every censor group there is, there's probably thousands of children and their parents on top of it. Oh wait, this is censorship. We can't say things like that. Okay. Uh, they and their parents, along with it, Too proud to say. I group for every bit of censorship that there has ever, 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 ever been. They're against cussing. They're against certain. Like, I mean, think about it. I never, ever, ever have ever seen on any TV show, even America's funniest. Home videos does not allow anyone to see certain naked private parts. Not allowed to see it, just not. Don't know why. We American audience are very, very sensitive. Thus, they allow it in lots of other different countries eh, where you could see certain body parts. Right? But Frankly, what I don't understand is what. And in some cases, I understand censorship. Okay, I think it's also people who science and and certain things that state I don't go nude on camera. Okay, I just don't do that. Sorry, got a problem with that. Shouldn't have hired me. And a question. In some sense, some other things are like Moms of America rising up of anger because we no longer want to see our children watching shows where naked people or there's cussing or any violent behavior as if as if the children aren't going to see it in real life. They are watching that. And it's not saying I want the violence to be everywhere. Oh no, you know, even though I have my limits on violence and cussing and bad behavior. Hell, I don't like it. There you go. Oh no, I said hell in a censorship video. Can't say that, but you can't say. I mean, there's tons of. We'll say. I guess fecal matter jokes, which I hate to break it to you folks. When was poop funny? Okay, I never thought it was funny. I think it's gross. I think it depends on what you did with it, and even then, I don't think that's funny. But anyways, it's about censorship, and if I'm gonna focus on censorship, I'm gonna focus on censorship. That's if I can, with my leg, the way it's going. Oh my god, yeah. I, I don't, full, like I said, oh, oh, and then there's music. This is not going to be the best example, but, yeah. Certain, certain music is censored in our media. You can't say certain words on the radio. You can't say certain things on television until after, like, midnight around here. I don't really care, there's nothing really on television that's worth watching right now. Don't get me started on which things, but still. Huh. I don't understand censorship, okay? I don't understand it. I don't get it. I, I don't understand the groups that are like, Oh my god! We saw naked people? Oh no, we heard a bad word? 
I mean, there's some words that I don't think you should ever say. Even out in public, they don't say these sort of words. That's the difference. It's, does it work with the thing we're doing? Yeah. Then let it be. You know, the, the thing is, that's like saying we're going to censor Lord of the Flies. Every scene's Lord of the Flies movie is naked people. Or naked children. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't want to see their penises everywhere, because I'm sorry, but it's not that I personally don't or care that they're out there. It's just, they're little boys, and, you know, I kind of feel like, is this considered child exploitation? Because if it's not, it should be. I don't think it's child abuse, but... Mm. I mean, I guess if it goes along with the film, sure. But when we're focusing on it the entire time, okay, it's getting creepy, alright? Just kind of putting it out there. Sorry. Sorry if you're a pedophile, I don't care. It's creepy. Knock it off. Uh, you, that too, I, that's for another video. I don't, I don't want to go into it right now, okay? I should not have said that. I apologize for the pedophile comment, okay? Sorry, but still. There's just some things where I go, you know, it's starting to make me really freaking uncomfortable, alright? And I just want to say it. Sorry. Out of context. Again. Out of what? Um, out of off topic. Sorry. <laughs> but, it's just that so many people are outside with such groups. And then there's so many people who are opposing. I am not entirely against censorship, like I said. I know there's certain places for it, but there's things that where it doesn't make sense. Like, I'll sometimes watch certain shows where they're cussing, you know, they're cussing, but you can't, then they come to a word, like, we'll say they're talking about shit. Okay, we'll, we'll use that as an example. Um, let's see. Oh, well, Frank, I don't know why Hank Larry can't cut the shit out when it comes, comes to talking about uh, that, about talking shit about marriage. He doesn't understand that that beep isn't funny. And the thing is, that's the same exact word I just used. Twice. That's another thing. I don't like spotty censorship. You're either going to have it, or you're not going to have it at all. Sorry, but censors, do your job. You can't be all like, that's offensive, that's offensive. Oh, okay, I guess it's alright. Let it go. Oh, no, 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 that's offensive. That's offensive. Stop it. Okay. Also, there's some words I don't think you should ever use ever, ever, ever out of context. Like the word, the bitch word. I usually don't use that word ever. And I should have put a warning on this on this video um, about cussing and stuff, but that's what I'm trying to say. Hey, I'm sorry about that. Anyways. Never, I don't think you should ever say the word bitch unless you're talking about a poorly a dog. However, again, in songs like, and I love Meredith Brooks and everything, and I love this song because I think it was more about her discovering that, hey, this is what I am, but this is not all that I am. I think that was a very strong, powerful song, okay? However, some people will be offended by Bitch, by Meredith Brooks. And I don't think you should say it. I always hate watching shows where they have 
and this is mostly nowadays gay men saying it. And then you got the men who are trying to be like, I'm mad! Hey, so get me some beer! B I T C H. Yeah. I'm not supposed to call my woman that because she'll knock me off side of my head. Oh, and I remember when I was a kid, the only real bad word that was not said that much was H E double hockey sticks. And you know exactly what I mean. I don't have a problem with that word. Being a Christian, you know. The reason why we don't say it is because in our Bible, that's a word you're not supposed to say because you are not to curse God's name and neither take his, his uh, take the foot that he rests his, uh, the place where he rests his feet upon in vain. And that makes sense. Okay? I'm okay with that. That's what he asked. I did not ask censorship hit groups to, you know, pander to me as a Christian and say, hey, oh, we're not going to use that word. Mm -mm. You know, I, I didn't ask you to do that, right? Okay, just let the word go. But I want to say, it's not that I want the censorship censorship groups back in great droves or anything because they are I just want them there to be in opposition you know we gotta have conflict folks it's just normal in our society we got to have that conflict we gotta have someone up against somebody else it's fun it's good drama on TV you know it causes wars gang violence Possibly the end of the world, considering if you're going to work for South Korea right now, and I feel sorry for you on that end. Probably North Korea, sorry. Again. I do not understand people who find all cussing to be bad, or find it ter- I mean, I understand them not liking it until- but then there's books. There you go. Another form of media that we're not supposed to cuss. And I've even found words in books where I, I guess I thought it was a cuss word, but now that I'm older, I recognize that it's not really a cuss word. But it, it was the word idiocy. I remember as a child, you weren't supposed to call anyone an idiot. So, but. I noticed in a book that there's the word idiocy. And I was like, ooh, you're not supposed to say that. That's another reason why I love reading books, too, is that you can get away with a lot more in a book than you could ever in a movie or a film, which I don't understand that. But other than there's just certain things that would be marketable to an audience than not. But still, cuss words, I hate to say this, folks, it happens in life. People cuss once in a while. It's just that, I guess, there's just a certain level of cuss words that are allowed. Okay, and then there's another thing I don't like. Oh, um, and this still revolves around the other, around the books. What is it, but I don't like the N-word, and I've made videos saying I don't like it. However, I don't think Mississippi should ever have made it where someone couldn't read a book with that word in it, considering when it was made. And you know, it's Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer. I think that was okay. I understood that it was talking about... It was a long time ago when that word was considered acceptable. Nowadays, if you used it, hey, I don't blame people for wanting to smack you upside your head. You just don't say it, okay? It's a cultural term. You just don't say it. And people forget that it was how that was. 
And then there's that too. I mean, hey. There was a time when people really got pissed off at, I guess, both Derek for wearing corn rolls or something, which I'm thinking. Let's just put it this way. I'm a black person. I live in a part of the world where I'm like, so what if they wear our hairstyles? I understand that she's not black. Uh, and then, to be honest, she's not black skinned. That's the thing. She's not dark skinned like I am. She very well could be, well, a white person with black roots. Which, hell, I'm not upset, I'm not bothered by nor care her if that's her case. Also, if she comes from Jamaica, well, it to break it to you, a lot of people there do have their heads, hair and dreadlocks. Just because it's not a common thing for white people to do that here in good old apple pie America, doesn't mean they don't do it in Jamaica. Come on. But, that's everyone else's standpoint. I don't care. It's just like, hey, if white people like rap music, go ahead, listen to it. I'm busy listening to punk rock for crying sake. Hey, hey, I was raised on that stuff. So, no, I don't care for every rap song or rap singer. And I know I made a video about this, so my, part of it being about my... <sighs> I, anyways, this is still about censorship, it's not quite, but like I said, cultural interest, about certain things like that, I don't understand why I have to, why censorship exists, per se, in some cases, because if it's a natural thing to do, then let it be, it's a natural thing to be, okay, it's a natural thing to do, Okay, I think I just took a 17. Well, anyways. Anyways, this is Evelyn O'Malley. Saying, oh. Telling you to follow me on Tumblr, Twitter. Ah. Look me up on my fan fiction and my WordPress. And if you like this video, click subscribe. And push the like button down below. And bye.